Today on Rev Spirits and Gear, we check out the all new Bass Butler Bi Amp Bass Preamp from Orange Amps. For many, many, many years, a common practice with bass players is to use a clean bass uh, guitar signal and then under that, mix it with a dirty channel from a guitar amp, often the same amps that the band's guitarists are using for cohesiveness and for some grit on the bass tone and overall glue. This is a common practice in the post-production world um, as a mix engineer. This is almost the standard for any rock, hard rock, or metal bass guitar track. But often, if you wanted to get that sound in real life, that would take multiple DI boxes, splitters, and multiple amp setups. Well, Orange has boiled that all down into the bass butler. Now the bass butler has two separate channels. There is a dirty guitar channel and there is a clean bass channel. Now what I find particularly interesting about the bass butler is the XLR outs have a dedicated clean and dirty um, cab simulated output. And then you can use the expression pedal to blend in however much grit you want into the clean channel. This is two independent cab emulated outputs and the sound just absolutely lovely. Now, if you want to run the bass butler as a more traditional preamp, you can use the instrument input and then go to the amp output, the quarter inch output, and then go into a power amp or in front of another bass amp or something like that. But I will note that this is best utilized using the XLR outs, the dedicated outputs for each channel. I found this to have maximum versatility and sonic quality, and I just, I, I didn't want to leave that spot. Now moving on to the dirty guitar channel, I found this channel to be very classic orange, honestly, uh, with a humbucker Les Paul, like a JB in the bridge, I was right at home with OR style tones. I wouldn't call them rock or verb. Um, they're more 70s, 80s kind of crunch that you'd find in older orange amplifiers. And it wasn't harsh, the crunch was very, very nice, and the breakup was very, very musical. Now the clean channel is a no frills, no gimmick kind of uh, affair. It has volume, uh, top end, low end, and a compressor. Now this is a pretty uh, aggressive compressor. Also the clean channel 
Uh, volume is very, very loud and aggressive. I never ever got past nine o'clock on the thing. So just be warned, if you have a loud ass bass with active pickups or something like that, this is the pedal for you. Now the bass butler retails for $3.99 and I think that is a hell of a deal to be totally honest with you. Normally to get this kind of tone live, you either have to have, you know, some kind of a processor or a bunch of splitters. Like I mentioned before at the top of this video, you usually have to have a bunch of gear. Well now, if you're a bass player, you can tour with this and if you have an in-ear system of any kind, you can feed this to your in-ear system and the front of house at the same time and get great bass tones on both occasions, you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. This is a lot of damn fun, and um, I just, yeah, it's not much more I can say about it. It was just a lot of fun to play, and it sounded good with guitar and bass alike, so if you definitely are into that kind of thing, definitely check out the Orange Bass Butler. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome.